Okay, so this next one is a bicone, and it is just like the cone, except we're making two sides. You can make any of these beads any size you want. Some of these I've made smaller than others, but the bicone is one of those beads where you really need to have some lift, at least I do, need some lift on my marvering pad, at least an inch and a half, so I can get the proper roll that I need at the angle to make the bicone possible. So you'll see that in a second here. Thanks for watching you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. The bicone shape can be very simple to make. It just takes a little bit of practice and time like every other bead you're going to make. <laughs> For this one, I like to do a full, very long barrel shape bead. I just am going to put six footprints in a row and then I'm going to start rolling it out. And you'll notice as I do this, I don't go back and cool the starting edge. Not yet. I'll do that in a second here. Here we go. And I just do it a little bit. It's still cooler than the other side. And the reason why is because I'm really trying to use the cool side as a guide to roll my hot side out. And I'll flip the mandrel around and do it on the reverse side as well. Just trying to get everything straight. And now what you're going to see is me doing this very beginning slight it is at an angle. These two rolls here are at an angle. And that is like the base of my starter bead, at least for the ends. Now to build up the center, because I'm just trying to kind of fake this shape. It's bigger at the center than it is at the edges. So I'll just put glass in the center. Then I go through a process of rolling at my angle and make sure that you roll gently and that the glass is not too hot. Take your time, just roll it once. And then you're going to heat that unrolled side and you're gonna roll that out a little bit more gentle and a little bit more cooler. As I am rolling this bead on the edge at the angle, You'll also notice that my bead is slowly cooling down. Okay, I'm trying not to get it overly hot because this is just refining the shape I, I just started to make. And it can be so simple. There it is. A few more rolls just to straighten things up and you have your bicone. Good luck with this, you guys. And don't get frustrated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.